Hi guys, welcome to Miracle Wednesdays. Hello everybody, welcome to, this is Naples, Florida here in the background. It's a beautiful day in Florida as you can see. What's up guys? Hello, welcome to the newbies. Welcome to those that have been here for a while. We join here every Wednesday to talk about the Course of Miracles and to talk about the teachings basically. And today um, I will be sharing about fear. Um, the Course of Miracles has a beautiful, very powerful workbook lesson. And it's um, lesson 160. Lesson 160, which is, I am at home, fear is a stranger here. I am at home, fear is a stranger here. So we're going to be going over um, what is fear based on the Course how to live your everyday life with less anxiety, with less fear, um, with more peace, more trust, and more flow. And um, I'm really excited about this um, theme and this, this session today because I feel that fear, even though it says in the course that fear is a stranger here, it, it, the experience in the world of duality and form, it doesn't feel like fear is a stranger. It actually feels as something that sometimes we even identify as normal. Like it's a way of life to be scared or it's a way of life for things to be hard. So the Course is teaching us is very radical. It's the opposite of that, is that love is normal, right? Um, it's teaching us that peace is normal, that things going and flow is normal, that easy is normal. Right. So today I will be talking about fearless living. Um, we will be going deep. If it's going to be 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I just invite you to just settle into this live and give it to yourself as a gift to say, wow, today, for some reason, this page popped up and I get to remember that I can be fearless. I get to remember that I don't need to be scared. Um, there's a coincidence why you landed on this page, so, and, or you're watching this replay. So just say to yourself, you know what? I'm gonna take a break if I can, if I'm at work, if I'm not at work, wherever I am, and just listen to this crazy Cuban talk for 15 minutes about fearless living. <laughs> My hair's wet because I put a treatment on it. Um, so, all right, guys, you ready to rumble? All right, so let's just settle in here. Let's just settle into the space. <sighs> Something about the breath that is so powerful, right? So let's just, <sighs> just breathe. Just breathe, just be with the moment, be present. It says on my phone, I'm live. Focus on my clouds, focus on my sky. Focus on this moment, presence. This is all we got, guys. This moment. And in this moment is where we get to release the fear. This moment is where we get to remember our Father again. Remember that we've never left the mind of God. This is the moment we get to remember that. This is all. This is what we got. All right. So, lesson 160. Before I get into that, for you guys that are new, um, I host this page here, The Course of Miracles, and I'm here every week on Wednesday to do Miracle Wednesdays, and I talk about different themes. If you have a look at my YouTube channel, which is in my bio, in my link tree, you'll be able to see all the other videos I've done in the past, and also you'll have access to my Course of Miracles meditations and Course of Miracles talks. So if you are new to the course, if you are just starting the course, or you've been doing it for a while, um, I have incredible resources available to you to support you in your Course of Miracles journey. So check out my website, mariafelipe.org, and you can find it in my link in bio, okay? So that's a little, a little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight about me. All right. So lesson 160 says, I am at home, fear is the stranger here. So it's saying that fear is a stranger. Who's a stranger? Fear is a stranger. In this world of duality, the Course of Miracles says that the, 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 the world began when the Son of God forgot to laugh. That's how it describes it. 
So it's like we, we forgot who we are, then automatically there's this world of duality that gets created. <coughs> Hence the experiences that we become separate and there's a world of duality. Now, what does that mean? Duality means that there is there's this dual. It's dual. So it's not oneness. The Course of Miracles is bringing us back to our oneness. But the experience that we're having in this dream, the Course of Miracles calls this the dream. It calls this the illusion. There's the experience of duality. The experience of love and the experience of fear. The experience of that I am a body. That I'm not a spirit. That I'm a body. You know, that's what the ego tells me. That's what duality tells me is that I'm a body. And, and that eventually, you know, this body is going to decay and I'm going to die. You know, that's just what what we're taught. That's what the ego is. The world of duality is that we're a body and we're going to die. And that's that's our future, <laughs> pretty much, in a nutshell. Hi, Edie. Welcome, welcome. I also saw Pamela creep up there earlier. Thank you, guys. I'm so happy for my sisters being here. Um, so I am at home. Fear is a stranger here. It appears in the world of form that fear is very common. It's something to us that it doesn't feel like a stranger. It feels like we know fear very, very well, right? We experience fear, you know, every day or we experience fear every once in a while. And what the Course is telling us is that fear is a stranger here. But in the world of form, it appears that fear is our neighbor. Fear is something that we are we know very well very close to home something that we experience all the time in our mind something that takes away our peace but what the course is teaching us is actually is is, is that is that fear is a stranger here that's the truth and love is what's really real okay again so fear is a stranger here in the world of illusion we have to actually fear is not the stranger in the world of illusion that's what we need to realize that in the world of illusion fear feels very real but the truth is is that it is not the truth in the world of illusion it's not the truth it's the in the illusion it feels real but it's not okay now love is all there is that's what the course is teaching us so love is all there is is it says here in, in paragraph one fear is a stranger to the ways of love so to the ways of love fear is a stranger Identify with fear and you will be a stranger to yourself. Okay? Identify with the fear and you'll be a stranger to yourself. So when you identify with the fear, you begin to lose yourself. You begin to fall asleep to your true nature. You begin to forget that you are love. You forget who you are when you believe in the fear. When you believe and you fall asleep to yourself. Okay, it says here, identify with the fear and you will be a stranger to yourself. Okay. So how does that happen? Why are we fearful? What's going on that we are fearful? What's happening? What's happening? Hi, Renee. Welcome, sweetheart. <coughs> why are we fearful? All right. The number one reason why we're fearful, the Course of Miracles would say, is because we feel guilty because we separated from our father. Like we, there's an unconscious guilt. The son of God forgot to laugh. Somehow we feel very guilty because we separated from our source. What's happening is, is that it's just an illusion. We never really separated from our source. We're just sleeping. We're just in the illusion, but we've never separated from God. And that's why the Course of Miracles says we're never upset for the reason we think, okay? We're never upset for the reason we think because the reason that we're actually upset about anything in this life the reason that we experience fear in this life is because unconsciously we forgot who our father is. We think that we have separated from God. <coughs> we feel guilty. All right. That's the unconscious guilt that's going on. It's very unconscious, but it's what it is. It's how we experience it. So that's number one. So in complicated terms, <laughs> that's what fear is. Okay. I'm trying to make it as easy as I can, but that's what the fear is. That's why we're fearful. But if you want me to make it even more practical and you want me to go a little deeper and an understanding is the way that we experience it in the realm of life is that we are fearful because of what we are thinking and believing at any given moment. Okay, so what gives us the experience of fear is the narrative that is running in our mind. 
<clears throat> so if the narrative is worry, so if you're you're cultivating a story in your mind with your thoughts and beliefs about worry, that's actually going to be <clears throat> the experience that you are going to have. You're going to have the experience of what you're thinking and believing. Hola, Germán. Qué lindo que estás aquí. Un besito grande. So does that make sense? So what happens is, is that when you are have a narrative of the ego, you are going to be a stranger to yourself because your, your, self, your true self is love. So you're going to forget who you are. You're just going to fall asleep to who you are. You're going to fall asleep in the dream. <coughs> and you're going to be in the fear. That's what happens, right? Now, if you're able to begin to understand that just because you're thinking something, Hola, Carolina de Guatemala, buenos días. Gracias por estar aquí. So when you're thinking something and and you're being fearful, your, your narrative is the belief and fear, then what happens is you're going to experience the fearful dream. Course in Miracles teaches us that you can experience the loving dream, the happiness dream, the the the, the, the truth, the love, the joy, the 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 you know the boom, ping pong boom, the the incredible ecstasy of life when you begin to change the narrative. So instead of the narrative of fear, you begin to have the narrative of love. And what is the narrative of love? The narrative of love comes from a space. <laughs> I have like peanut butter stuck in my throat still for my breakfast. The narrative of love is basically releasing the judgment of your perception. So when you release the judgments of your perception, when your narrative changes, you let go of the judgments. You begin to take responsibility for your life. You begin to not be a victim of your circumstances. You begin to understand that everything begins and ends with you which the Course calls, when you don't have judgment, the Course calls that forgiveness. That's true forgiveness. <coughs> you're being forgiving. You are, you are forgiving because you're remembering that the only thing that's true is a love you gave in the past. That's all that is true. So when you're being forgiving, you're being non-judgmental. When you're being non-judgmental, you're letting go of the judgment. You don't personalize. And then you understand that you are not a victim of your circumstances. You understand that your perceptions, the way that you perceive, perceive things is up to you. The Course talks about, okay, that the good news is, is that we have the power, a very, very, very magical power. <laughs> the Course doesn't call it a magical power. I'm calling it a magical power. I'm kind of getting into Disneyland, Disney, Disney movies right now. but. There's like this thing that's coming to my mind that we have such an incredible power that is is our big fat you know I don't know tool to combat fear like it's just powerful and what the course is teaching that is so powerful that really kicks fear in the butt like literally it dissipates into the nothingness that it came when you understand this we cannot be it's hard to think that we're responsible for what happened to us in our lives right so we can't be like i'm responsible for the car accident you know i'm responsible for my husband leaving me i'm responsible for the bankruptcy i'm responsible for x y and z <coughs> the course is not saying that the Course is saying that we are responsible for the way that we experience it. So the way that we perceive the situation, person, place, or thing, we have dominion of over how we're going to experience it, through fear or through love. So hence, if you have the responsibility and it's you that has the experience of fear or love, then guess what? you get to kick fear in the butt because if you understand that I get to perceive this and I get to say if this is going to hurt me or not, that is a fear buster. Like you can literally kick fear in the butt. You can literally blast it out of here. You know, I'm picturing my, my son's 
water water gun you know you can literally like just just splash that ego egoic thought away and then you come back to the truth so why do we suffer why are we in fear because we have fearful thinking we have fearful thinking we have caca thinking we have cuckoo thinking and we go cuckoo for cocoa puffs we forget who we are we're in the illusion that's fine guys we're doing the very best we can here let's be very very gentle with ourselves it's all good we all forget who we are the most important thing is to begin to cultivate a system <coughs> of practice which is what i work with with my clients and my groups and my classes and everything that i do is to begin to have consistency in the practice of connecting to the holy spirit which is a voice of love channeling consistently letting the holy spirit guide our days um creating an epic system of spirituality around you of a morning routine and evening routine practicing gratitude of where your vibrational frequency continues to be heightened you start to cultivate this love within you connect more to the holy spirit and you begin to connect more to your higher self of where you don't get tricked by the cuckoo voice you get the joke you get the joke you're like oh my god this doesn't bother me anymore and i hear it all the time yesterday i was with two of my clients that are doing healing in her child and she's like wow things that used to bother me don't bother me anymore it's like they're just lighter why why does that happen because we are responsible for our experience the course in miracles says that we actually that's our responsibility so you get to experience everything through fear or through love so what happens is you begin to live a life and you let go of the fear by beginning to understand that what's causing you your fear and your pain is what you're thinking and believing, period. So if your narrative is of fear, if your narrative is of, of victimization, if your narrative is judgment, if your narrative is you're taking a shit in your pants, <coughs> that's what you're gonna experience. Now, if you begin to understand, I am responsible for my life I have dominion over my experience. I get to experience this situation the way that I want to experience it through love or fear because I know who my father is and I know that I'm in the mind of God and I know that I've never left the mind of God and I know that my birthright is happiness. I know that my divine right is happiness. I need to know that. Then I know that I can go ahead and shoot the ego in the head with the water gun. With the water gun. Here we go. I get to give the water to the ego. <laughs> this is my son's water gun. And literally, just let it know. Listen, thank you for your teachings, but you know what? I'm ready to play now like I'm, I'm done like let me just spray you with some water let's lighten things up you know so that's the way you can see it. it's like you can squelch squelch the ego now <laughs> the most important thing is the ego's not the enemy you don't need to fight the ego <laughs> I love how you guys are laughing you don't need to fight the ego you don't need to you know I don't know have an all-out war with the ego I just think we need to begin to understand it we need to begin to understand that not everything that we think and believe is true. Just because we think something doesn't mean that it's true. Half the time it is not. But anything that's not of love isn't true. Anything that is not of love is an illusion. Anything that's making you feel like caca is shit. It's not, it's not contributing to you, which is fine, but we're learning that. So what's good is to start to be get to begin to question your ego with which Byron Katie. The teacher Byron Katie with the work epic epic work I love Byron Katie I love the work it's like forgiveness on steroids I feel like it's the course in miracles in action is that you question you question your thoughts you question what you're thinking and believing with Holy Spirit okay because what you're thinking and believing about yourself and others is what brings in the fear okay so how do we let go of fear we begin to understand that fear is a stranger here. Fear is a stranger here. We are at home. We are at home. We're at home because it's our divine right to be at home. It's our divine right to be in peace with God. It's our divine right to understand who our father is. Okay? 
then when the ego comes in, you are ready, ready <laughs> for action. You're like, wait a second. I get the joke. I get the joke. I get that. I'm falling asleep to I am. I think I'm in the illusion. Oh my goodness, I'm falling asleep. But wait a second. I am love. I am peace. I am happiness. God's will for me is happiness. And then you tell the ego, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it there. Because if not, it is going to get even funnier and a little bit crazy. But hope you guys get the joke. I hope you guys understood this lesson for today. <laughs> I try to make it light. I try to make it fun. Um, next Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday, I have my ACIM class for the... I love how Lena's... Hola, Lena. <laughs> I love that Lena's here. Renee's laughing. I know. I just made it. was making funny fun of it. Next Friday, we have... Um, the ACIM class of the month, um, Mina, <laughs> Pam, you guys are killing me. Um, ACIM class next week, Fearless Living, Fearless Living next Friday. Um, it's low cost, high value. Check out my link in Linktree next Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern is the ACIM class. It's going to be called Fearless Living. I'll be going over... Um, everything and everything to do with letting go of fear as well as a touchstone meditation the touchstone meditation i will need you guys if you're going to be part of the class to bring a touchstone so that could be a crystal that could be just something small enough to be able to, that you can use to connect to holy spirit when you're channeling when you're meditating we're going to be doing a touchstone meditation so that's going to be next friday um fearless living and meditation um and it will be on replay so if you can't be there at 12 p.m don't worry about it um, you can always watch the replay. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, join me every Wednesday here for a new class. I'm really excited. This month um, has been amazing. Um, my husband and I are gonna celebrate our five-year wedding anniversary this Friday, so we're really excited. And then you guys know Sunday's Mother's Day, so a lot of celebrations coming up. And I just wanna wish all you mamas a happy Mother's Day, and I wanna send all of you guys a lot of love. And um, just remember, the ego is not your amigo. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day filled with love and light. Until next time.